Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video we will be taking a look at a program called Affinity Photo Editor. They are claiming that they are the future of photo editing. And at the price they are offering, at only £48.99p for a lifetime product key, that is fantastic compared to Photoshop's £9.98p a month for the bare minimum or £73.93p a month for everything included. I know which option I would definitely go for at the moment, but is Affinity Photo Editor just as good as Photoshop? We're going to be taking a look at that in this video today. If we just scroll down through their website for a second, they have got a lot of features there shown off, and I must admit the website looks absolutely incredible. I'm now going to go ahead and install the program, which we have the installer on my desktop here. Once you've got the installer, whether you purchase the program or try out the free trial, all you need to do is double click on it and go run. You now need to go next, I accept, next, and you now need to type in your email address and your product key. The email address has to be the exact email you received your product key on. That is extremely important. Once you've finished typing in the details, you can now go next and we can go install. Once the install has finished, we can now open up Affinity Photo. Once you've launched Affinity Photo, this is what you will end up with. And I've got to tell you, I love the GUI. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. You will get a little startup panel pop up as well. Let's just jump in and view some samples. You do need to download them. So I'm going to go ahead and download this first one. And there you go, this is the Corea sample. And I've got to tell you, it looks fantastic. The amount of work they have put into this image looks stunning. On the right hand side here, we have all our adjustments, which is what you'd have in Photoshop. We have all our layers, which are used in this image. And if we go across one more, we have all our effects that we can use. And then we have styles. If we go across one more, we have stock which has nothing in it at the moment. On the left hand side here, we have our normal tools that you'd normally use when using Photoshop. Here you can add text, for example, let's just put computer sluggish. And then at the top, we can select the font, we can select the size, and we can select whether we want it to be italic or bold, which is great. Let's have a little look at a few more options. If we go to the top here, we can save our file and create new documents. We can also export there. If we go across one more, we've got all our normal tools of copy, paste, and so on. If we go across one more, we've got all our text options. And then we have our document options. Here we have our layer options. And then we have our select options. We also have our arrange options, which you can use to center text. If we go across one more, we have all our filter options, which we can add blurs, noise, and change the color schemes. If we go across one more, we have our few options. I like to add rulers on, so I know exactly whereabouts on the screen I am. And also I like to add on grid sometimes, which is extremely handy. And if we go across one more, we have our window, which we are currently viewing. Overall, I think Affinity Photo definitely is worth the money, but there is a free trial, like I said at the start, so give that a try, and if you like it, then definitely purchase the program. I mean, you'd be saving a lot of money compared to Photoshop, as they are taking money from you every month. And with Affinity Photo, it is just a one-off payment. And that is it for this video. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.